It's safe to say that the vast majority of material things from five decades ago, especially textiles, have not stood the test of time. Heck, most of us are lucky to have clothes that last a few years at best, so you can forget about something that was around during the Nixon administration. The fashion shoe shop performed quite well in its prime during the 1940s, 1950s and 1960s. Unfortunately, it was the tale of many mom and pop stores, it eventually had to close down. Since the store shuttered its doors several decades ago, it remained almost entirely untouched. No one ever came to clean out the store, in fact, no one had much reason to check up on the building in which it was housed either. That is, until recently. The man who took these photographs was told that the store had been in his family for generations. Although he heard many stories about the family business, he never had a reason to step inside. The store had been a source of pride for his family. It wasn't until his great-grandmother became ill that they were even forced to close it. Now, decades later, it was finally ready to be explored. While the store may have been covered in a thick layer of dust, the shoes were surprisingly perfectly preserved in an incredible condition inside their original packaging and shoe boxes. Seeing all the fashions from the days of yore was as good as going back in time. In all the while that the shop had been out of business, its contents remained untouched, which meant that it was like stepping into a time capsule. And oh boy, what a time capsule it was. Through all those decades, the shoes had remained in near perfect condition. The vintage details on this shoe box would make any antique collector squeal with delight, and the place was full of these kind of items. When the man opened up the boxes, he was surprised at the quality of the footwear. The shoes were sleek and stylish, and many could almost pass for something worn today. With a little sprucing up, these clunky heels could be sold in a store right now. The best part? Shoes weren't the only thing they discovered in the store. Take this mysterious piece, for instance. Though it doesn't look like anything special, just some sort of bedside table, its true identity might shock you. It was actually a Victrola Credenza talking machine, and it was full of records. What a find! This might have been the coolest thing to be left inside the store, besides the old kicks, of course. This vast treasure trove was just loaded with incredible items. From leather loafers to sleek stiletto heels, the space was packed with quality items that had been left untouched for decades. With a fresh pair of laces, these boots could make a nice addition to any department store's front window display. The leather was in perfect condition too. Even better, vintage looks are always in style. The shoe shop held all kinds of secrets that its new owner couldn't wait to share with the world. To think that these kids' shoes have just been sitting untouched in this old store for more than 40 years was pretty insane. It's like stepping into a museum, a shoeseum, if you will. Or maybe the store was more like an alternate dimension full of awesome vintage stuff that never went out of style to begin with. These might as well be modern Vans or Converse slip-ons, seeing as they look just the same. This pair is pretty stylish, no? The plaid section would make the owner of these cute kicks stand out. You've got to wonder if Red Shank still sells any footwear. If they made saddle shoes as cool as these, they'd probably come back in style in a heartbeat. Ads like this one were the Instagram posts of yesteryear. The poses may have changed since the fashion shoe shop's day, but that's not all. Just check out the price on these saddle oxfords. After so long without being touched, the shoes were ready for their modern debut. The old brand logos even added a certain classic vintage feel to the footwear. The boxes were especially charming too. Now that the man knew it was hiding in his family's shoe store, only one question remained. What would he do with this shop? Given all the merchandise inside, would he and his family consider reopening the place for business? It was almost unbelievable to consider how no one in the family decided to sell it or the items inside before this shop was passed on. Rarely do these sort of assets just sit there, perfectly preserved. As it stood, this old-timey shoe store felt like a relic from a bygone era that was just begging to be brought back. Who else would want to pick up some new shoes here? They truly were timeless. While this family's thrilled with their discovery, they aren't quite ready for folks to come on down for a visit. They've decided to keep the location of the shop a secret, at least for now.